Butter has a rich history. The ancient Romans used it as a beauty cream and to treat burns. Even the Old Testament mentions butter. Abraham served it to angels. Back then, people made butter by shaking milk in bags of animal skin or in hollow logs. Today, its glorious taste is a product of modern technology. Butter making begins with a tanker truck delivery to the dairy. 30,000 liters of raw cow's milk. Workers test it for consistent color and odor before unloading it through vacuum pumped hoses. They pump the raw milk into a machine called a separator. The separator spins, dividing the raw milk's fat from the rest of the liquid. The fat is called buttercream, and the rest is skim milk. The essential ingredient in butter is the buttercream. It's thick, off-white, and approximately 38% fat. Some of it goes to make 2% milk. A worker adjusts a valve to reinsert some into the skim milk. The resulting 2% milk is more watery than buttercream and is white. The less the fat content, the thinner and runnier the milk is. Back to the butter making. They put the buttercream in what's called a bulk tank, where mixers stir it to maintain the consistency. After pasteurizing and then aging the buttercream for 24 hours, workers prepare to transfer it into another machine called the churner. First they clean the inside by filling it with water mixed with iodine. This removes any germs left behind by the previous batch. They spin the churner for about five minutes before rinsing it out. Next, they pour in 1500 liters of buttercream, filling the churner about halfway. It's important to leave some room so that the air released in the churning process can escape through two vents in the churner. The churner spins at 28 rotations per minute, about the speed of a clothes dryer. This causes the buttercream's fat molecules to bunch together, releasing water and air. Every five minutes, a worker stops the churner and regulates the air vent on top. When he feels there's no more air escaping, he closes the valve and restarts the machine. After 30 minutes of churning, the fat molecules in the buttercream are creamy clumps known as popcorn butter. These clumps stay trapped in the churner, while the remaining liquid, called buttermilk, flows out a drain at the bottom. A vacuum pump system sends it through hoses to a nearby container. This draining process takes about 10 minutes and produces about 800 liters of buttermilk. This dairy uses the buttermilk to make ice cream. The popcorn butter, all 684 kilograms of it, has the same consistency as regular butter at room temperature. A worker now flavors it with 14 kilograms of salt. This dairy also makes unsalted butter. The worker closes the churner by sealing the glass window with a rubber ring and a metal collar. This keeps the internal air pressure roughly equal to what's outside the churner. Doing this ensures the churner works sufficiently. Another 30 minutes of churning and the fat molecules thicken even more and blend with the salt. What results is butter which is yellow because of its natural vitamin A. Next, a worker scoops about 30 kilograms of butter into a milling machine. The mill moves the butter into the final production phase, where it'll be shaped and put into packages. This machine squeezes butter into an injector that's shaped like a block. The injector then deposits blocks of butter into open packages. The packaging paper has an aluminum outer coating. This prevents light from penetrating. Light can make the butter rancid. Each sheet is 26 and a half centimeters long and 19 centimeters wide. Before the butter is inserted, a plastic former bends the paper into shape. This mill operates four days a week, churning out up to 33 blocks per minute. That's a fairly small quantity compared to some dairies. But this relatively slow pace allows greater quality control. To monitor the mill's precision, workers check every 15th block to ensure it weighs exactly 455 grams. 
The dairy then ships the butter to stores in refrigerated trucks.